Hey, baby, and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Direwolf 20 here live on the Primus servers. Um, <clears throat> so, if you guys might hear in my voice, I am just a little bit sick. I woke up this morning and I have the illness, so my voice is probably extra deep. I have the crud. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm a little ill, so bear with me. Um, I may occasionally go <laughs> and cough a bit, but yeah, I woke up with a frog in my throat, and if you guys can hear it, I, I sound extra super sexy Barry White style. So yeah, um, so yeah, guys, um, if you guys hadn't already noticed in the background here, let me show you guys real quick. I have started work on what mm. I'm going to consider my real base. I've made this little platform out of dirt, and I've built a little tower. Um, basically, I'm going to switch into Wisp's mode here. This is how I've been building. I turn into a Wisp, like so. And I'm just a little glowing ball of light. And I allow myself to fly like this because building is already hard enough. So, yeah. Um, I, I basically allow myself to fly when I'm building. That way, I can actually build things in an enjoyable manner, you know? Um, creative flight is very helpful when building things, especially tall things like we got going on here. But yeah, this is the tower that I started working on. Um, it's made out of primarily this stuff called Holy Stone. Um, Holy Stone is a chisel block, and I've never messed with it before, but it puts off these little, these little twinklies. These little twinklies I really like, and I kind of want it to look like an amazing, weird wizard tower. So, yeah, I, I basically, it's a little phallic at the moment. If you look on this side, it's just all stone. So what I did is I have a building turtle with a program on it that builds cylinders and boxes and all kinds of stuff. And I had him build me this giant cylinder. And what I've been doing is using the wand of equal trade to basically switch out the blocks for new blocks. And, yeah, so, yeah, working on my wizard tower here. Um, I'm imagining this is going to take me quite a while. I mean, it took me... Um, it took me quite a while to get to this point. I really like the structure that's going on. And I think I'm going to continue things over like this. I don't know. Um, for, at the moment, for my accent block, I'm using these redstone blocks and with the checkerboard pattern. But I, I, I think it needs something else to make it stand out a bit more. I do like just the little hint of red. Um, honestly, this elf glass is kind of amazing. If you use elf glass in anything, it just makes the whole thing glow. So I, it's like my favorite glass to use. Even though some of you might not like the funky pattern that is involved with using elf glass, I think it's I think it's the tits. I don't mind it at all. But it, the 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 thing is like, all right, you see this side of the building, how perfectly glowy it is. If you go to this side, uh, it's very dark. You know why? Because those elf glasses are actually light sources, and they help with just lighting up the whole damn thing. So I'm going to use a lot of elf glass in this, just like my uh, Fantasy Factory, which I have. I hate to tell you guys, I'm not going to bring back the Fantasy Factory. I, I made a decision that why why um, work on an old building when I could why I can make a new building. So we're going to make a new building here. We're gonna. It's primarily going to be white. It's going to be like my alabaster tower. Or, or something like that, but I think I think we've got a good start here. And basically over here are just all of my building materials. Um, if you look in this chest, this is where I've been dumping stuff. And I've got a little barrel here of um, Holy Stone. If we look up Holy Stone, it, it's kind of funky. Um, there's not a lot to it. Honestly, it's very drab for something called Holy Stone. But maybe that makes sense to somebody. I don't know. But the way you make it is you surround stone with a feather. And I have tons of feathers, so it's not a problem. Um, I've done almost nothing to the inside. Um, I definitely want wood floors for the inside, and I think what I've decided, and you guys can see here, for the wood, I want to use this stuff. This is, um, hold on, that says grass block. That's not right. Oh, that's right, it's because we are the wisp, and the wisp doesn't show Wayla correctly. So, yeah, if you look here, it's called dark wood. It's, it's, you can find them in these very scary biomes, and if we cut it down here real quick, we'll just show you what it be looking like. Um, the, I already like the outside of the logs. Um, I'm not going to show you what it looks like in vanilla. You guys can check that out on your own, but I, I, in this texture pack, the out, um, the log section of it looks really good, and the wood section of it looks really good. Look at this stuff. Look at this nice dark brown that it makes. It's almost, it's almost got a little bit of purple to it, but I think it's going to work really well with the alabaster. Like, um, it has a bit of color on its own. 
If we sneak over here, maybe we could just check it out next to it. You know, I think that's a nice dark wood color that goes with this. Um, I don't know if you guys have any ideas. Uh, I, I've been primarily in the past obsessed with redwood, but this dark wood looks so good to me. I think I'm going to use it for this build. And we could bring in some more of the magic wood as well because we've been using it in our other build over here. So I don't really see that being a problem. That could definitely be uh, something that we do. The main thing that I'm concerned about is I'm using a texture pack. So my build might look beautiful to me, but you know, like um, other people that stumble upon it and be like, oh my God, that looks terrible. So that's why primarily I was using the chisel blocks because those look the same for everybody. Unless they have a texture pack that counts the chisel blocks, but I don't think anyone does. And I, I, I'm only aware that Sfax has a texture pack for it. Uh, John Smith does not. And plus, look at look at these little sparkles. Look at these. It's like it's like a brand new tower. It's got that new tower smell. You know, when you buy a car and you get the new car smell. This is the new tower smell. So yeah, uh, began work on the Wizard Tower. It's going to take quite a while to finish that up. So bear with me, folks. Eventually, we will move in there. And what I'm thinking is, I'm going to keep this area over here as my Thom craft area, and then over in the Wizard Tower, I'm going to do uh, witchery and maybe even blood magic and any other magic mods that seem to stumble their way into here because over here I've, I've got batania and i gotta be honest with you guys once we end up fighting the gaia spirit uh i think we're gonna be done with batania we'll we'll definitely use its facilities in doing things but yeah um, we're basically kind of done with batania I, I think we've reached in-game batania level because all we need to do now is fight the gaia spirit and we've got access to all the junk and stuff so that's pretty cool if we take a look oh I'm getting a headache uh, uh, anyway if we take a look at my uh, golem tree farm let's turn off Wayla here you can see I have uh, 500 stacks of charcoal so this is doing really well um, one thing I want to do and we might try it out right here hold on <coughs> that's the sickness I'm telling you guys about um, I think we've got this this point here, uh, this aura node, to the point that I think we want to start collecting stuff out of it. So let's look in the book and see what we can make here real quick. And I think we can start getting on with this, uh, maybe like a recharge station for our wand. Or maybe even a way to speed up the infernal furnace. Either are cool things. So I guess the first thing we need to make is this guy. It requires redstone nitor iron and all that and a node stabilizer i have one node stabilizer i don't know where i put it to be honest maybe it's like in one of these chests here it is and let's see here here's some blocks of redstone <coughs> excuse me guys like i said i'm sick so let's see here up, 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 up. some comparators actually we just need the one hey Susie orman how you doing hey have you uh, put money away in your 401k? Well, leave me alone, Susie. Jesus. All right. Um, what's next? What did we... We needed a night tour. Actually, one really amazing thing that old Susie Orman is, has been doing for me here is I can buy night tour off of her. Look at this. I can trade emeralds for night tour. So instead of making the stuff, I've just been buying it off of Susie here. I can also buy air shards. Not that great. Uh, but I bought this thing called a V-Stone from her too and it was only eight emeralds and apparently it's supposed to recharge my wand but i think it only does it if i'm holding the wand like this and it does it very slow so i don't know if that was worth it but there you go um also another great thing from Susie orman here is you can buy this stuff called ethereal essence um the ethereal essence is a great way to get the aurum aspect and if you guys know the orum aspect is kind of hard to get so you can just buy them from Susie orman she's got them on stock and anyway she's standing right where i need to work do you mind Susie? i've got a i got stuff to do today Jeez. all right so what was it it was something like this and i think this was underneath and this guy was on top what was on the sides i already forget open a book this oh iron okay yeah 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 we got iron it's definitely not there. I don't know why I looked in there. Uh, we'll just take a stack just in case we need it later on. And hopefully my wands are charged up to the point that I can actually make this damn thing. Let's see here. Can I make you? Very good. We've got a node 
stabilizer here. So we got to find a way to put it on top. And I, bear with me, guys. This is the first time I've ever messed with this. I've just seen kind of videos of other people doing it. So I'm going to build like a little thing like this. If I could jump up here correctly. Oop. Okay, so I should just be able to put it right there, and it would be on top. So, boop. Is it doing? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe it doesn't want this here. Oh, it, I think it needs a redstone signal. That's right. So, in, in order to do that, let's just throw a block of redstone on top. Those always emit a signal. And then it should turn on. I was a little worried there. I didn't think it was going to work. But let's do that. Boom, and the little nodes protrude, and then this guy gets like kind of shrunken down a bit. And yeah, I think it's gonna basically reduce all these to zero, but what it's gonna do is constantly draw from these, and you can do crap with it. So um, let's actually look in the book and see what the crap we can do. Uh, so harnessing V, if we go to the next page, more stuff here. So we wanna make some of these. It's a V's relay. And balance shard, hopefully I have a few of those laying around. And iron, I think I have a couple of balance shards just kind of banging around here. I have three. So we can only make three of these. I think these have like a range of eight or something. We could just read the book and find out, but we're too lazy to do that right now. And plus, nobody wants to see me do that. Nobody wants to see me read on screen. Oh, what the heck just happened? I heard, I heard something amazing. I don't know. Um, let's look in the book and see if we can make the little wand recharge thing. This is a Vs charging relay. So if you look at this, it is the Vs relay, great wood rod, and that. This is easy to make. Let's make that crap. Do I have any great wood wands laying around? We don't, but we can just make them real simply. Yeah, we have the iron. We have the looks. Let's make lots of money. All right, so this will make two. Booyah. And then we do like this. Uh, we throw the iron like so. And what might be a good idea is to make another one of these uh, work tables and put it somewhere separate so we can use this work table to work on. <laughs> so here we go. V's charge relay. Um, I've already forgotten how to make an arcane, arcane work table. Uh, I think it's going to be a basic information, right? Ah! I clicked on the wrong thing. Basic information. It's definitely not in here. Let's check in Thermaturgy? Thermaturgy? I don't see it there either. Let's try artifice. Here we go. I'm sure it's something very simple. We just take a table and we zap it. Okay. Man, it's been so long since I've done that that I've completely forgotten. So let's, uh, here's some of these. I think a table is made simply by doing something like this. There we go. A table. And we are going to make ourselves a little wand recharge area. And I think I'm just going to put it like right here. So that way it's pretty close to the damn thing. And there we go. Wand recharge table. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking it's as simple as just clicking like this. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that looks crazy. All right. So if we put our wand in here. Look at that. It is charging up like a mofo. Holy schmazolazoid. Okay, cool. We've got uh, probably a more honed way to charge our wand now. And it looks like the particles have cleaned up a little bit. So the next thing we could do is... Oh, look. Now it's shooting that. That is so cool. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just amazed by how pretty this is. Look how cool that looks. I love this. All right. So the next thing I want to do is try to figure out a way to get... I'm just going to put it here. And... I wonder when that's going to change its effect. If I do like that, or if I go into this table and back. It looks like... Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's actually tune this one. I think you can just grab fire shards. And I only want Ignis to go this way. I think I just want Ignis to go like that. So that way, only I think only Ignis will go this way. And it will speed up my uh, arcane furnace but another thing we could do is let's puncture a hole in this wall we want to be careful because we don't want Susie Orman to get out now that I think about it so let's maybe make it a little higher we definitely don't want our financial guru to escape oh no that would be terrible so let's maybe put it let's maybe just make a one hole a one wide hole let's try that 
So if I put that there, boom, that looks good. We are going to turn into a, uh, a villager, apparently. No, a wisp, please. Am I a wisp? I think I'm a wisp. All right. No, I'm a villager, aren't I? I am a villager. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Wisp, please, because I need to fly around and do some magicalness. And we're going to get this relay set up correctly here. So I think all I got to do is to kind of do... Uh, this needs to be a certain distance. Let's see if this will work. I think that's too far away. So maybe like here. If that's still too far away. So let's grab these guys. I definitely want it to shoot over here. And I wonder if it loses charge just by doing such things. Let's just... um. All right, this is going to look a little... It's going to look a little ugly, but we're going to figure out the details later with this. So I'm just going to do something like this, and I'll put one here. Okay, very cool. If I put one there, and then I put one here. There we go. I think this should speed up our chest like crazy. Hold on. I have my stupid magnetic ring on, and it's screwing up everything. Oh my god, look how faster... Look how much faster this guy is going. All right, we've definitely increased output. How cool is that? So what we want to do eventually is kind of pretty this up a bit. I don't mind it at the moment, but... So yeah, this is going to power our furnace, and we now have a way to recharge our wands kind of without knowing about it. So cool. This wand probably is all recharged now. Are you done? This guy is charged. Very cool. Let's grab this wand and recharge it. Oh, man, that is great stuff. I love it. So, um, yeah, we've got our little wand recharge area here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how good that is. Oh, we could just let that sit and not worry about it. Oh, I love wand recharge. Wand recharge is the best. I need to get out of wisp mode. I don't like to be in wisp mode for too long. I only like to use it for building. So cool, guys. We've got that done. Oh, awesome news. So, um, one other thing we might want to screw around with. Let's look it up here in the book. I was, I was, it's really something I want to try out. Is this stuff. It's just called Liquid Death. And apparently I need 32 Mortis. I need 32 Perdidio. And I need 32 Poison. Man, that, it's kind of expensive, but I, I, I'm hoping that's a good thing. You know what I mean? So let's grab ourselves some of those little files or vials or whatever they're called. Um, do I even have any? Where are they? Hello? I, I swear I had, like, a bunch of them. Oh, here they are. There's 60. Um, let's put some stuff away here. Just get our inventory just a little cleaned out. Come back here. There we go. Um, so let's collect that stuff. I think uh, 30 comes out to four of each. So one, two, three, four of that. And we need four per DDO. One, two, three, four. I love how deep my voice gets it when I'm sick. It's just kind of, it's just kind of cool. One, a two, a three, a four. All right, now I'm just showing off. All right, so we have that, and I think then we just throw a bucket in after it, and we'll have ourselves a bucket of liquid death. Oh my, a bucket of liquid death. Sounds cool, right? Hopefully it is cool. I got it! Bucket of Liquid Death, and I got some warp from it. So, if we read up on the Bucket of Liquid Death, let's take a look here. Um, this liquid is so dangerously toxic that virtually nothing can prevent it from dissolving flesh and bone, even harder substances. Nothing alive or even displays the semblance of life can survive it. Apart from obvious practical uh, applications, this vile substance has another interesting property. Any essentia a dissolved creature possesses forms into crystals that can be harvested. So that's kind of cool. I guess we could use this to farm essentia in certain ways. Um, the only way I could think to use this is at the moment is to maybe grab one of these pokeballs. I have one with a wither skeleton on it, but we can set it to just spawn regular skeletons. And I, uh, let's see here in my liquid chest if I have any essence. I do. Let's go test this out. I've never tried this before, so this should be interesting. Or or just completely boring at all. Actually, I know what I need. I need a vacuum chest, and I have one up here. So, basically, we're going to throw a bunch of skellies into this thing. 
Um, do I have any charcoal on me? I have seven. Let's grab just a bit more from our voluminous... Oh man, we're getting, we're making so much charcoal now, it's not even funny. It's not even funny, stop laughing. So down here in my dirty recesses, um, I've got a couple of things set up that I don't show you guys. Down here I have a Steve's factory manager set up to make um, a compressed cobblestone. Um, it, and I've got a few igneous extruders. These aren't chunk loaded, so these are only active when somebody is nearby, so I feel fine with that. Um, and that's very, oh, there already is a vacuum chest down here. So, and also, this is how I get my wither skulls, is I have an auto spawner down here hooked up to a bunch of damn furnace generators. So yeah, guys, um, this is my little, uh, it's it's the area I'm not the, very proud of because I don't like using some of the Mac, Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. I feel it's a little cheaty. But, you know, if you know of a better way to get wither skulls, I'd like to hear it. Anyway, we have it set to auto spawn exact copies. We want to change that to no. Nope, let's not put it in yet. Let's spill our bucket of liquid death. So if I put that down there, I think it just acts like a liquid. Oh wow, it's not big at all. Where'd it go? Is it like eating through the ground? Oh my god, what's going on? Anyway, let's throw this in here. And is this even working? I don't even know. We've got a lot of essence, so this should be working. Oh, I do see things twitching here, so maybe we'll just stand back here and wait a second. Alright, it's definitely hurting him. Let's see what happens when he dies. Alright, he died. Oh, look at this! Crystallized! Oh, this is great! So we can actually use this to get essence from monsters. Hey, come over here. It seems like we need more of this, or we need to set up some conveyor belts to, you know, push it our direction. But this is very cool. Let's see what we got. We got some Terra, some Examinus, and some Humanus. Humanus, Humanus is kind of hard to get, so that's kind of cool stuff. Stop shooting at me, you big dork. So look at that. All right, so we got ourselves some liquid death. Delicious. <laughs> So guys, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Goodbye.